so in this lesson we will take a flat footage and we'll change mode of scene completely so let's begin it with something that i found very interesting that is making 300 movie feel so here i'm using a random footage which is quite poor in colors we will turn this footage into this one a total yellowish environment with huge contrast level i know this will not match exactly as of 300 movie and that's also not possible with such a small plugin which have very limited options but it's very close to that and before starting let me know you something always remember all footages cannot be graded or you can say using any footage you cannot achieve a particular grade like in this case achieving same grading like 300 movie your footage should have proper lighting onto that while shooting and if we will talk about lighting techniques here that will take hours even that will not be sufficient until we will show it live how to shoot it so lighting is great factor behind color grading well i have found this footage much better to work on it so i had achieved a close look but every footage will not work it can be much better than this but you will have to use bigger softwares for that like uh, da vinci resolve on which i will make a training in this series but for now, let's explore how to achieve this. And I'm not telling you to underestimate power of this little grading tool which we are using right now. I'm just telling you that footages shot in proper lighting will give you best results. Let's begin. I'm going to create a new project and start from scratch by importing same footage again. All right, it's here. So let's apply our plugin on it. Useful interface and as before, use RGB waveform with RGB controls. First of all, we will have to maintain contrast ratio in our video. So let's pull down pedestal so that bottom of color graphs will touch the zero line. Now, before adding gain to it, think about your color theme since we will have to maintain yellowish environment so we should add red color first then we will add pinch of green to it so just add red gamma to it to push midtones towards more red add pinch of red gain to brighten highlights now to make it yellow we will add green gamma and a good amount of green gain now there is yellow shade on the footage but that's not intense yet well our video has mostly midtones and shadows they are not much highlights so what i'm gonna to do we just increase contrast ratio so that light will reflect colors perfectly for that, we will use mid-tones first. Add gamma to brighten mid-tones. Now to maintain good contrast, lift up gain to high amount and bring down pedestal. Just look on the scene and adjust both until you will get huge contrast. It will just blow up the yellow color both in mid-tones and highlights. So this is before adding contrast and this is after. Let's work on shadows and make it a bit dark. Okay, let's compare it by the source. Original one, graded one. Far different than each other. Now, I believe that there is some redness over her face and also colors got more intense than required if we change it through rgb controls that will also start to lose color theme as well but we can make it a lot easier by using hsl tab 
and uh, we will pull down saturation in master and uh, we will also make shadows in gray shade instead of perfect black or in any other color and the other thing i'm going to do go in hue offset and in mid tones add some warm yellow it will bring some milkiness but don't worry we will handle that by adding some blue tone in it by adding blue color we we'll just avoid flatness and also make footage bit more bright so here is a new way to do it go to levels under blue channel let's increase blue mid tones not very high, just little amount will be sufficient. Let's check its effect. It will make footage little bright and pull down yellowness. Alright, we are done. Now I will show you some tricks. It doesn't necessary that you will always achieve everything on just one layer. No, never. Often we work on several layers to achieve a great look. And for this one, we will have to do so because when we move further, it has background here. But that's looking quite flat. We will have to work on it so that shadow and textures on it bump up. Background should be some noisy. To enhance it, just duplicate the layer. Now use full interface again. And here we are not going to change RGB settings as they are doing well. We will play with HSL Tabs Control Panel. Go to Midtones and keep its saturation to zero. It will push scene towards gray shade. But don't worry right now. Just focus on the background. For that, let's play with gain, gamma, and pedestal once again. Bring down highlights and increase mid-tones light i'm doing it so that background will not have much shine due to sunlight it will have uniform light with dark textures let's check it good enough go into shadows tab and uh, i'm not going to disturb saturation because it's already 50 percent so again we will change lighting on shadows and try to distribute it uniformly. Well, in this process, it will become some foggy, so don't worry about that. We will control it by using blending mode. Just OK it. Now, time to set its blending mode to soft light. It will get merged with the bottom layer with huge color intensity. So, pen opacity parameter by pressing T key and set it to 50%. Both layers will get blended with some intense colors and some rough looking background. That's looking great. To give it final touch, let's create a solid layer. Actually, solid layer will create a problem since uh, I want a gradient on it. So we will have to apply a gradient ramp effect on it and in my opinion, why make things complicated? Let's create a rectangle instead of a solid layer. So deselect the layer first. Now just double click on the rectangle tool. It will create a rectangle of same size as your composition. Well, mine is already filled with gradient, but if yours not, just go inside of the fill properties from here and choose linear gradient okay now to edit colors just go inside rectangle properties and click on edit gradient so let's make first color black and keep second color some yellow something like this now zoom out the screen and uh, adjust gradient colors by using both points and keep it same as mine. We don't need much black. Now once again change its blending mode to soft light and set its opacity to 40% only. 
it will brighten foreground and the middle ground but background will be darkened before and after so we are done let's have a look on it from beginning very nice just to go through it and you will see it's working quite well even for water also it has yellow shade along with black which is very close to 300 movie shot also here's a point when there are many shots in a video no matter whether it's movie or commercial or documentary anything we will have to work on each shot individually well i'm so lazy so i just try to match same settings for entire footage but you don't do that divide all scenes first and then start to grade it 